So I'm starting with the session by moving to SPR because I need to get into the IMG. You scroll to the bottom. And here we have time management. We go to work to do. And the very first tab says define public holiday classes. So we go to the first activity, define public holiday class. This is where we create the holiday list or the holiday calendar for an organization. So for example, our client wedding with two locations, one in Delhi and the other in Mumbai has let's say eight, uh, eight holidays for each location. Some of the holidays are common while the remaining ones are uh, the change depending on the location those holidays change. So you can have a holiday calendar which would be location specific. Here we create under the first tab which says public holidays, we create the consolidated list of all, all holidays. And another thing is there is a T code called SPAL. I can access the screen either through the IMG. Alternately, I can directly go to that screen. If I put in the T code SPAL, so there's a T code to access the screen directly. Right now we are in it through the IMG path. So under public holidays, I go into change. Here we can find a list of already existing holidays which are there in the system. On a real-time system also you will find these holidays. To create our holidays for our specific client, we go to the create tab here in the top left. Now there are five different ways to create holidays. So we have a holiday creation using a fixed date, a holiday which has a fixed date every year. For example, we have Christmas which comes on the 25th of December, so that's a fixed date holiday. With a fixed day from date, if there is any holiday in our organization which does not have a specific date assigned, but there is a particular weekday assigned after a specific date. For example, let's say in my organization, Reading, uh, they celebrate the annual day of the organization and that's done on every Saturday after the 15th of February. So that means every year 15th of February remains the static date, after which Saturday can move from, let's say it could be 17th in one year, it could be 18th in the other year. So that particular weekday keeps on moving. The only thing that stays static is the weekday, uh, the date, I'm sorry, 15th of February. The third holiday is distance to Easter. So any number of days before Easter or after Easter, if you want to specify. As holidays, you uh, configure under this segment. Easter Sunday is directly the Easter Sunday that's there on the system that you configure. Floating public holidays are holidays which change dates every year. For example, we have Eid. We have uh, in, in India, we have Diwali. There are certain holidays which change their date every year. So those holidays get listed under floating public holidays. So let's go to each one of these screens. Let's try fixed date first. And we'll go to create. You put in the date. So then 
put in in Christmas, so I put in the month. I put in the, the month here. That's the day, this is the month. Under the segment guaranteed, if in case 25th December falls on a Sunday, let's say, which is already a holiday for the organization, we have the option of selecting Sunday here and moving the Christmas holiday either, either to the previous day or the next day. So on those, in those years, when Christmas falls on a Sunday, it would automatically move to the next day if I have selected move to next day. Alternately, I can keep it at not guaranteed. Not guaranteed specifies whatever the day may be, the holiday is going to be counted on that day. Sort criteria is the sequence number. So any list of holidays that we create, there's a sequencing that we do. Uh, we can put in an alphanumeric sequence. So I could put R01 here. R01, R02, R03, that's how I'm going to use my sequence. Religious denomination. So any holiday you want to list as any kind of religious denomination that you want to put in here, so you can do that. The public holiday class. We discuss the holiday classes. The holiday class, the day one stands for an off, and that is what I'm going to use here. 